Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you can get Herba Mysticas and all the different types from the Terra Raid battles where you normally get them. Now, I'm sure you already know that the Herba Mysticas can be gained from doing Terra Raid battles from these crystals around the world as you've normally seen. But these are extremely hard to come by and they often only drop from 5-star and 6-star Terra Raid battles. This is a 4-star and unfortunately on the map you cannot tell which one is, is which. But in this video, I have a resource linked in the description down below, which is a Reddit post from somebody that's gonna have a bunch of information on all the Herba Mystica. So we're on this Reddit post here, it is by user XI11, 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 I'm not sure if I'm saying this correctly, but you can check this link in the description to see this directly and see some of the comments and make some comments yourself in case you wanna know something more. Now this is basically a list of all the Herba Mystica that you can get, so I'm gonna open up in full here. So you can see all the Herbas, this one is mixed, means these Pokemon here can all give one of all of the different kinds and then these ones here only give sweet these ones give sour these ones give salty these ones give bitter and a bunch of them get spicy so as you can tell this is why you probably have so many spicy herba mystica now this chart is divided into two groups on the left hand side all of these pokemon here are from six star raids and on the right side it's all from five star raids and apart from the individual groupings like this, like sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and spicy, you can see on the left-hand side here what the percentage chance is of getting those Herba Mystica. So if, for example, if we go here for the mixed kinds here, you can see here, is all a chance, 13.64% chance of getting a Herba Mystica for defeating one of these here, and this is in a six star raid. A 13% chance, that is not a very high chance. That is like maybe one out of, eight. that is like one out of eight, I think. And it gets even worse in five star raids where that number becomes 10.87%, which is almost 11%, which is slightly lower, it's probably more like a one out of nine chance. And if you notice the recurring theme here, all the five star raids have a 10.87% chance of dropping all of their items here. So the first one is the is the actual Herba Mystic itself. The rest are like, you know, berries or, or mints that you can get as well for changing your nature. And these berries generally are EV lowering berries. So if you're trying to reset your EVs, these are where you get those EV lowering berries from, from these five star raids. In six star raids, you don't get the berries, you just get a higher chance of the mints and then obviously the higher chance of getting the Herba Mystica. So have a look at all these different Pokemon. If you are trying to form specific Herba Mystica, like spicy, bitter, salty, sour, sweet, or you know, just taking a chance with any five of them. Try and memorize which ones here you need to target, and you know you can cross-reference if you find a five-star or six-star raid. Which one are you more likely to get? Though in general, I do recommend just fighting all of them until you can get your Herba Mystica because it's it's not super easy. Now you're gonna look at all of those different Pokemon, and you can try hunt them through the dens in your world. You'll have to go to every single one to make sure they're five-star and six-star, and that can be a little bit frustrating. But if you have a Nintendo Switch Online membership, you can go to the Pokemon portal in online mode and then you go to the Terra raid battle option over here and then from here you can quickly deduce which one of these pokemons you want to want to fight as you can see here i mostly get six stars and five star pokemon so you can basically go okay cool i know this one was there so just go ahead here and you pick one of the pokemon here that are under the herba mystica that you're trying to get and that is probably the best way that you can try farm them in the game is by hoping you get lucky and then you got to get lucky by actually being able to get into the raid itself because sometimes just because you see the raid does not mean you can always join the raid you also have the chance of doing random raids and this usually gives you random raids but it can usually be six star and five star as well more often than not at least in my in my experience i often get six and five star raids through random but it is there is a slight chance you get lower than that and you of course you just gotta hope that you win these raids so farming herbert mystica is probably one of the most frustrating things in the game especially if you don't have a group of people helping you you know to take them down but i hope you found this information helpful i hope you make some use of it if you have any tips of your own for farming herbert mystica if you've been doing this yourself let us know in the comments down below what you've been doing and thank you so much for watching this video.